Hi guys, hope you're well. It's been a while since I've been on video. Hope that you don't need a haircut as bad as me. Can't wait for the barbers to reopen. Anyway, today I want to talk about my e-commerce philosophy and the concept of owned marketing and why I think every e-commerce business needs to make a conscious effort to move towards this business model if you're going to be profitable and also if you're going to grow sustainably over the long term, why this is important to you. So let me explain the very basics of an e-commerce, a successful e-commerce operation. Essentially there's three parts. You have traffic, which is where everything starts. If you don't have the foot flow, you can't make any sales. You have conversion rate optimization. So your website, your house, where people come to, needs to be optimized to obviously drive sales. And then you have the third aspect, which is obviously where my services typically come in, and that's in remarketing and retention. So treating the customers that you've worked so hard to acquire and ensuring that you are increasing the customer lifetime value. And this is the lifeblood of any e-commerce operation, how you build a brand, not just short-term sales, how you build a brand. This dependent on how you treat the people you've acquired and how you remarket to them to increase that profitability over the long term. So obviously each area of the funnel is incredibly important and you can't be successful without optimizing each one. However, you should be focusing on the third part, the owned marketing and making yourself profitable and obviously successful in the long term. And let me explain why this is. Now, initially to get sales for most companies, you're going to have to leverage some type of paid media. Not all companies, uh, legacy brands obviously will have a lot of SEO benefits, which means they can organically bring traffic in. But for the majority of people nowadays, you need to look at Google product listing ads, Facebook, Instagram ads, and other forms of paid media. Now this is fine. It's very effective, obviously. If you have the budget, the advertising spend to dip in to Facebook and Google, you can acquire cold audiences. But once you've acquired them, you need to be focusing on your owned marketing channels. And what I mean by owned marketing channels, it's basically the data that you control, that you're in, in control of and you can leverage. Why is this important? Because every time you want to drive sales via Facebook and Google, you have to pay. So if your goal is to become profitable and your margins are already thin and they're going to be thinner if you're putting a lot of budget into these ad advertising channels, then you need to be looking at email, SMS, push notifications, where you can leverage your own customer's data to remarket to them. And this is where you'll get a really profitable e-commerce operation in the long term. So always make a conscious effort to, yeah, fair enough, use these paid media channels to acquire customers. But once you've acquired that data, you need to aggressively and proactively nurture those customers and make sure you're remarketing to them in an intelligent way that provides value. Because it really is about retention if you're going to make a profitable e-commerce business in the long term. Remember, profitability is the key in business. It's not just about sales, it's about how profitable you can become. And the way to do that is to treat the people you've acquired the right way, nurture them, and be intelligent about how you leverage that data. So always try to migrate customers from Facebook, Google, Instagram, to email, SMS, push notifications, the channels where you control the experience, and ultimately they're just a lot more profitable and cheaper for building your business. Hope this helps. Hope that you can get a haircut like me soon and I will speak to you soon. Let me know what you think about this philosophy. Am I wrong? Um, am I understating Facebook and Google Ads? I don't think so. I think it's, it's obvious that I recognize their importance, um, but I'm hopefully not too critical on them. I just think it's logical to migrate your customers onto these more profitable channels where you're in control of the experience. Ultimately, that makes business sense to me economically, and I hope it does to you too. So thanks for listening.